How's the fishing been going, buddy? Oh, dandy. So today I'm just going to be going over some of my gear for the ice fishing season, some of my favorite lures I like to use, and some of the other equipment that I use over the season. First we'll talk about the rods that I use over the season. Um, I'm not extremely familiar with the rod types and all their information, so I'm going to pull it up on here and I'll read it off to you guys. So this is a 13 fishing whiteout rod. It is 29 inches, medium action. It has a solid graphite blank. Um, it's a good walleye rod, good bass rod, good pike rod if you're doing that through the ice. Um, I don't use this rod too much. It's probably the one I use the least because I'm usually chasing panfish through the ice. But yeah, it's a good rod. It's worked well for me so far. This is the second rod, it's my favorite rod. It is a tuned up custom rod. It's their Inferno Ultralight. It's 30 inches. Um, retails at about $55, so it's not too expensive. It's pretty cheap. Alright, so it's got that really, really soft tip to it for when you're pan fishing, crappies, perch, bluegill, whatever you're doing. You can see that bite. And then just wham, lay into it. Alright, so yeah, this is my favorite rod. Feels great, you're able to fish up on it. And I like that you can see the bite every time you get one. And on this, again, I have a Shields Microtech Panfish. Um, these are both pretty cheap reels. They just came on other combos that I had. And I put them on these rods. But yeah. And last but not least, we've got this Fraybill Dead Stick Rod. Um, I'm not sure what model it is. I wonder, I'll probably we'll look it up, see if I can find it. Alright. Alright. Well, I can't find it. So, um, this is the Fraybill. It's a 30 inch rod. It's, um, it's a dead stick rod. Again, it's got that really light action. Not as light as a tuned up rod, so I'm assuming this is just a light, not an ultra light. You can still see that bite. Yep, yeah, okay. So yeah. And what I've got on here is a 13 fishing black Betty. Um, it's an inline reel. Uh, it's best for shallow water because, you know, it's not like a spinning or a bait cast. It's got a one-to-one -one gear ratio, so it reels very slow. So you don't want to be fishing in 40, 30 feet of water with this because it's going to take an eternity for you to get your lure back. Um, but I really like this setup. It's a good dead stick setup to have in shallow water. You can just turn that drag down. And the fish can just take the line real nice and easy. And you see that spool spinning, you come up, you turn that drag back up, and you lay in. <laughs> Now I'll talk about um, my electronics that I use. Last year I just had a standard flasher. I still have it, but I just don't use it anymore. It was a Humberg Ice 55. But now, um, over the summer, I purchased this Helix 7 to go onto my boat. And I'm using this for the ice season. And it's amazing. It's got all the contour maps. you got to buy them from Lake Charts, I think. What's it called? Lake Master. you got to buy them off Lake Master. they got a chip that you put into here. Gives me all the maps of Minnesota. It's amazing. Very good detail. And um, you know, I'll just turn it on and I'll show you. Um, so I got it in standard sonar right now. This is what I like to use for the ice season. Flashers are good too. I just prefer sonar. And it's got a zoom chart on it you can use. Here we got. Here's the charts. This is um, just a demo chart it has in Florida. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and if you do like having a flasher, it's got an option for you to use a flasher on here. 
So it's just like having your Vlexlar or Markham or your Ice 55 on the bird, whatever you want to use. So it's got that option too. And there's a whole bunch of things this thing can do that I can't comprehend because, you know, I've got the IQ of a squirrel. So, yeah. Alright, now we're going to go over some of my favorite lures that I like to use. Um, I'll do the same order I just did. My favorite jig to use over the ice fishing season. Let's see if we can focus in on that a little bit. Is this. It's a clam drop kick jig. Yeah, when you have it in the water calm. And you bounce it in front of Bluegill's face. The action they're getting is heads dropping down, tails kicking up. You know, and for panfish, it's just it's a great action. It's hard for them to resist. You just keep raising it in the water column, and you're gonna get bites doing that. All right, next, my favorite spoon of the ice fishing season, no doubt, hands down. This is my favorite bait overall, actually. All right, this is the clam leech spoon. This is my overall favorite bait for the ice fishing season. When you drop it in the hole, it has this fluttering action and it just does that all the way down and it's irresistible. This works from anything from panfish, all the way to walleye, to pike, to bass. This is just a great bait. And you know, if the bite's tough, this is something that always works. You can use this for an aggressive bite or for a finicky bite. If it's finicky, you know, tip it with a minnow head or a waxy worm or, you know, Whatever, you, whatever you're using for bait, shrimp. What I like to do is I like to let it crash all the way down to the bottom, make a little dust pile and raise it just up above and just barely shake it. And I will get smacked. And this bait alone probably caught 60% of my fish last season. This thing was my MVP, no doubt. Alright, and this last bait, this is my big bait that I like to use, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name, um, oh Jesus Christ, uh, you get it wet, glows automatically, no need to charge it, no need to replace it with a glow stick or anything, it's just as soon as it gets wet, boom, glows, just like that. Um, I don't remember the name of this thing, so I'm going to hop on my laptop and see if I can figure out what the heck it's called. Right, I've been looking for a while now, and I haven't been able to find it, but I have found this lure that is extremely similar. It's called the Tundra Tackle Lighted Firefly Spoon. So I can't find the exact name for this one, but it's similar to a Tundra Tackle Lighted Firefly Spoon. This one probably flutters more, since it's more elongated than this, but yeah, it's very similar. Um, it's a very, very effective lure. Great for nighttime. It's actually really good for perch. And, you know, I've caught in the odd largemouth on it. Um, but that's probably my best nighttime bait, and that's the largest bait that I usually use. Alright, that was a good burrito. Let's see, let's see what I have for tips. Um, safety, safety tips. Hold on, let me get back in my chair. Ugh. Put any food on my face? Get yourself a pair of these ice picks. You fall through, boom. You got these, <coughs> boom, boom, boom. Climbing right out. You're just wet, but you ain't gonna drown. You're just a little bit wet. But yeah, safety. These are essential for early ice, and you should keep them on you all ice season even. You know, you never know what's going to happen, so just be safe out there. And carry a pair of these. One thing that I don't have that I need to get is a spud bar. Um, let's see, I have a prop in here I could use to demonstrate. No. So a spud bar is a long metal bar with a point at the end that you use to check how thick the ice is, which is also essential for early ice. If you're getting three or four or five or even more solid hits in, the ice is probably safe. Just, you know, take precautions always, but um, if you're going through on your first and second swing, maybe stay off for a couple days or find a different lake to go to because that ice isn't ready yet. Let's talk about 
some actual fishing tips that I have. Um, none of these I learned myself. I learned these from watching YouTube and reading a lot. You know, fishing isn't it, fishing is not about luck. It's about knowledge. You gotta you gotta know what you're doing up there. I don't know what I'm doing, but I try. Um, yeah. So a lot of these tips I learned from either um, Aaron Weeb on Uncut Angling, um, John Thielen on Lindy Fishing, um, Fish Addictions TV, um, John B. Perrick, you know those guys. Um, those. No, oh, Jay Siemens. Uh, he, I learned a lot of this stuff from him too. Um, but yeah, if you just go on YouTube or go on the internet and you just put your mind to it, um, just watch fishing videos or read fishing articles or whatever it is, and you will learn to fish. My number one tip for ice fishing is when you're using a spoon, a uh, medium, bigger size spoon, whatever, whatever size it is, when you drop down, let it hit. Oh, here, I'll, I'll grab this for a demo. Jesus. Grab this for a demonstration. I'll grab the biggest spoon I have in here. So, when your spoon is dropping down to the bottom, you let it go all the way down, boom, hit the silt. And you raise it up and just keep pounding the bottom because that's going to make a dust cloud. And after you do that for a little bit, probably 10 seconds or so, Raise it about six inches to a foot above it and start jigging. Because that cloud is going to make, you know, whatever fish is around walleye, perch, bluegill, whatever it is, they're going to see the cloud and go, hmm, what the heck's going on over there? And they come, they're going to come and investigate and they're going to see your spoon right up there moving around like a wounded, wounded bait fish. fish. And they're going to say, yeah, that's mine. And you're going to say, psych nah, that's mine. All right? That's my favorite tip. It works like a charm every time. Uh, what else do I got? Um, oh, when you're jigging, use the variation. So, a lot of guys would just sit there and pound it on the spot, but you gotta mix it up a little bit. You gotta get some taller flicks in. You gotta dip it down to the dirt here and there. You gotta dead stick it for a second. Get it going. You gotta mix up what you're doing. See what they like. And once you figure out what they like, just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. All right, there you go. Yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go check out the last couple of videos I uploaded, and I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. Bye. How do you think we did? All right. Clean up. Clean up. Oh, look at that. Who's that guy?